Okay, you read the description, you know why you're here. If you're a woman, you've lost your man, and you want to know how to get him back, this is the place to be. This is where you find out how to do it. But before we address that, there are some other things we have to address. Before I tell you how, there are some other things we need to address. First of all, number one, you need to know your self-worth. Do you know your self-worth? Do you know your value? Do you feel like that you're a gift to this man that you're trying to get back? And is, is he even worth it? We'll get to that later. But if this man is constantly flirting with other women, he doesn't open doors for you, he doesn't do things nice for you, he doesn't make you feel, feel special, he's always criticizing you, telling what you're doing wrong instead of doing right, constantly having other women call him on the other phone and making excuses, you trying to get this man back shows that you don't know your self-worth. So you need to address that first before you even try to get the man back. Matter of fact, it's so important. I made notes. I want to do this in order. Um, second, is this the old demon called obsession? There's nothing wrong with loving someone, but there's a difference between loving someone and being obsessed with them. I know both sides of the coin. Years ago, I was obsessed with someone. Thought I was in love. I've been obsessed over. I had a stalker. That was uh, very scary. That's a spiritual thing. That means you're in spiritual bondage. How do you know? If this man has treated you like trash and cheated on you multiple times and you're yet trying to get him back, find yourself apologizing when he has hurt you, done you wrong, cheated on you, and you're trying to get him back. If you find yourself being disrespected, down, degraded, and basically treated like a side chick, and you're trying to get him back, you are obsessed. You find yourself going through his phone, trying to read his emails, trying to read his notes because you think something is wrong. Usually when you think something is wrong and you think somebody may be cheating on you, they are. So if you're dealing with that, you need release from that budget as well. Make sure this is not God blessing you in disguise. Sometimes God will allow somebody to leave you so he can bring the person he chose for you to brighten your day and bless you in a way you never thought possible. How do you know? Is this a godly man? Does this man care about you? Does he care about God? Does he treat your kids special? All these things wrapped up point to whether or not this is your blessing. And sometimes you are not the one for him and he's not the one for you. And do you find yourself constantly feeling like, I just got this feeling he's not it. Maybe he's not the one. That's your subconscious. God speaks to you spiritually all the time through your subconscious. If you find this nagging feeling, you feel it in your gut that maybe he's not the one, he's not the one. When you find the one, you will know it. You will not have to guess about it. Realize that nothing is wrong with you. You're a beautiful woman. God created you beautifully. You're special. You have a special personality. It doesn't matter whether he likes those things about you. There's a man out there that will find even your quirks beautiful, cute. The things that everybody else talked about, he'll find it cute. There's some things about my wife most people think is crazy. I think they're pretty cool. Now, let's get to our point. How do you get your man back? If you've been chasing after this man, calling this man, trying to get him back, trying to convince him you should be together, constantly going after him and after him and after him and after him, and after him you are in the best position you could ever be to get him back. I hope he's worth it and I hope he's due all this attention that you've been giving him. The hardest thing there is to do is the easiest thing to get your men back. Nothing. I've given this advice plenty times. Stop calling. Stop chasing. Stop trying to convince him. It's not cute. Just stop. Don't act mad. Just act nonchalant like, okay, I'm good. I'm fine. This is very hard to do. This is not easy. You get scared. What if he gets uninterested? You have nothing to lose. He's already acting uninterested. And it's really not cute. So, all you have to do is stop calling. Stop texting. Stop trying to see what he's doing. Stop trying to talk to him. Stop trying to convince him. Give it three weeks. I guarantee you're going to hear from this guy. And when you hear from him, something else is going to happen you're gonna suddenly see the power you have over him, and you're gonna suddenly see things about him you never noticed. This will empower you, if you need to, to let go. You should love someone that you want to love, and you should love someone who makes you feel loved. Not saying he's perfect, 
No man is perfect, but he should love you just the way you are. The good, the bad, the ugly, the flaws, and kiss you because of it. These are the things that made you both fall in love if, if that's what it is. Now understand, just because this man comes back to you after you've done what I've told you to do, does not mean he loves you. It simply usually means he wants what he can't have. That's it, in a nutshell, simple. If you want somebody back, if you really want them back, set them free. They'll come back to you if it's meant to be. That's it.